If you enjoy this video please like and subscribe. Dateline Hollywood, February 17, 1962, Joseph S. Kearns, TV star, Mr. Wilson on comic show Joseph S. Kearns, 55, the harassed Mr. Wilson on the Dennis the Menace television series, died today from what his doctor said was a cerebral hemorrhage. Mr. Kearns had entered the Parkview Hospital Sunday after suddenly going into a coma. Only Sunday, ironically, the harried Mr. Wilson had jokingly willed his gold watch to Dennis because, he thought, he was in ill health. The program had been filmed prior to Mr. Kearns' illness. Mr. Kearns was a veteran, character actor and was a frequent participant on the Jack Benny shows and had been heard as the signature voice on. Suspense. He also had appeared on radio's Lux Theater and many other major programs. In recent years, he had appeared frequently on the Danny Thomas show and the How to Marry a Millionaire TV series. Dennis' mother, Mrs. Betty North, said her son, Jay, will be heartbroken by Mr. Kern's death. Jay called him Uncle Joe, she said, we will try to keep it from Jay immediately because they are shooting now. Jay is extremely sensitive. Mr. Kearns and Dennis rode I together on a float down Hollywood Boulevard in the annual Christmas parade. On the TV series, the young, menacing Dennis always up to some devilment made a haggard and weary neighbor of Mr. Wilson. Mr. Kearns was a talented musician and had taken part in many national organ recitals. His Hollywood home was built around an organ. Mr. Kearns was born at Salt Lake City, Utah, on February 12, 1907 and started his show business career in radio. One spokesman for CBS said Mr. Kearns was the whole show on the Dennis the Menace program, Mr. Kearns leaves his mother and a sister. Mr. Edward Horton finished three episodes of Dennis the Menace. He made one five weeks before the death of Joseph Kearns, Dennis' friend Mr. Wilson. I play the role of Mr. Wilson's elderly uncle, Ned. I am coming to visit the Wilsons and they think I need quiet and rest, he said. But not at all. I am very healthy and full of spirits, quite athletic, too, and full of calisthenics. I had Mr. Wilson, Joseph Kearns that was, on the parallel bars and so on. I wonder now whether I should have. He was complaining even then of pains in his arm and everyone said it was neuritis. But it was his heart. The producers of the show wanted to write Uncle Ned in as a permanent character after the death of Mr. Wilson, but Mr. Horton said no. Kern suffered a cerebral hemorrhage on February 11, 1962, during the third season of Dennis the Menace and was hospitalized in a coma, but never regained consciousness and died on February 17, 1962, five days after his 55th birthday. His death may have been attributed to the metrical diet he was on as he had reportedly lost 40 pounds in six weeks. He was buried at the Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles. Dennis the Menace starting to grow up, after three years, during which Dennis the Menace has defied time by remaining a six-year-old boy, CBS young blonde star is starting to grow up, just a little. Jay North, who in reality is ten, is going to get out of those outsized play suits and into garments better adapted to his calendar age. But even in long pants, Dennis will continue to harass his long-suffering next-door neighbor, Mr. Wilson, when the series begins its fourth season on CBS September 30th. According to Present Plans. The dialogue given to Dennis will also be a bit more mature, those baby-type lines will hereafter go to Billy Booth, who will inherit Dennis' old costume and some of his more infantile characteristics. Growing up, of course, is one of the problems of the writers and cameramen connected with any show in which children have prominent roles. Last season Beaver discovered girls and so did Johnny Crawford who plays the son of The Rifleman. I understand you're having trouble tuning in this educational channel. Jay, who is small for his age, has been able to get away with playing a younger boy, although his off-camera acumen and interests are those of a normal 10-year-old. Sunday evening series has passed through one difficult phase. Joseph Kearns, who played the original Mr. Wilson, died suddenly several months ago, and Gail Gordon was hurriedly pulled into the East to replace him. Mr. Gordon, the mustached, character actor, has specialized in playing choleric roles since the old days of Fibber McGee and Molly when the part of Mayor Trivia was created for him. When Mr. Kearns died, 
the writers had Mr. Wilson suddenly moving east, and his home taken over by his brother, played by Gordon. It seems to have worked out fine.